Hey guys, Tales of Greed here, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy XIV. Haven't played this on the channel in a little while, but recently patch 3.4 is released, so I thought I'd throw up something a little bit new and do a little new dungeon stuff. So we're going to be playing through the one of the new dungeons in this patch. So um, it's going to be the main new one. I'm not going to go through the expert and just have a roulette. I just want to go through the main new one which is called Zephatol, so we'll be going through that. Before we go, though, um, you'll see that I bought an, a, I bought an apartment, because apartments just came out this patch as well. So got some jamming music, got some freaking cool fish swimming around. Super nice. I've never really owned my own place in this game, so it's kind of nice. I like spending time in here. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that off. And now, let's actually uh, start this up. So... The two new dungeons that came out in this patch are uh, Zephatol and the Great Google Library Hard Mode, but we're going to be going through Zephatol. So let's get started. Alright, cool! So that only took like 8 minutes. Never mind, apparently we're not going in right now. Can... Are you serious? <sighs> Come on. Give me a tank. Give me a tank. Come on, tank. Get in there, tank. Need a tank. Tank it up. Tank. 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 Hey, 10 years later, a tank has appeared! No way! Okay, let's actually do this. If the DPS signs up. Okay, thank you guys. You really saved my ass on that one. So along with the new dungeons, um, I'm going to be playing Astro, of course, because Astro has basically become my main. Um, there have been a lot of Astro buffs in this patch, which have been fucking amazing. In my opinion, I even say that they went a little bit too far with these buffs. I feel like they're a little broken. <laughs> um, doubling the boost from balance and bowl. Mostly the balance is the one that matters because, you know, more attack power. But goddamn, that balance is so good and we have some good teammates, it looks like. This guy's going. Alright, dude, I got you. No worries. So, um, yeah, these new dungeons uh, came up. And uh, I actually rather like them. I think they're pretty good. So, um, especially the bosses. I think the bosses have been pretty dang good. Let's throw that balance out there. See if I can get another one. Also, the... Uh, oh, yeah. I can just throw this on him. There you go. They lowered the time on the, sh on the redraw ability which is insane they i feel like that's going way too far honestly um it used to be 60 seconds and you can just now it's 30 seconds which matches up with the draw ability so you can just redraw every single time you draw a card which basically makes getting any card like half as easier honestly it's pretty insane in my opinion But, you know, I'm not complaining. I love Astro. Astro is basically my main now. Um, I, u I used to main Ninja, and I still play Ninja very often. So... But I've been really into... Oh man, that guy got vulnerability from that rock. Um, I don't know, I've been really into healing recently. I'm sure you know from my last video of this game. Which was Holebreaker Hard Mode, I believe. But I love healing in this game. It's just so much fun, in my opinion. Let me get that off of you, bro. There you go. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of fun doing it. So, hey, the balance. I'm getting really lucky with my draws. But I feel like ever since this patch came up, the draws have been so nice to me. And it's mostly because of that redraw buff. Like, the 30 seconds. That's insane. Let me throw that on you, bro. There you go. Oh man, I'm in the 
I'm in the thin I'm in the cleric stance. Okay, there we go. Just throw a little uh, gravity, do a little of that. There you go. Sometimes you gotta help out your bros out, do a little stunnage. So this is the new uh, main story quest. So it follows along in the story. Um, I kind of forgot what the thing is about this. I think the Warriors of Darkness were coming here to kill Garuda or something like that. <laughs> Honestly, I I did the story like yesterday, and I actually I I'm not I don't skip cutscenes or anything, but I just totally forgot. But um, it was it did have um things to do with the summon summoning of Garuda and everything. Which hasn't been a thing in a very long time. Also, uh, I probably shouldn't mention that for people who haven't done the story yet. But yeah, this, there's a lot of story stuff in this uh, dungeon. I would even say this patch has been the best story-wise. Um, I just think it really did everything well. So, oh man, I'm being bad. So I, I really enjoyed this patch story-wise. I thought it was great. And Dungeons have been good too. And then Alexander came out as well. And Alexander finished. And Alexander was probably the best out of the uh, out of the stuff released. So I would I don't know. Like part of me wants to say this was the best patch. Honestly, part of me does want to say that. Um, I did really enjoy last patch though. So it's hard to say. All right, let's see if I can get balance. Perfect. All right, we're gonna throw that on this guy. Boom, boom. There you go, everyone. Start this up. So first boss. Uh, this boss is probably the weakest out of the uh, bosses in this dungeon. I know that. Like the thing is, there are some really cool mechanics in this dungeon that I really enjoy. And you'll see what they are soon. But they can be a little uh, frustrating for the healer. I will say that. So I may uh, get a little distracted as we go through here. Because being the healer means I have to pay attention. So that's something to keep in mind. But, yeah, I just really wanted to record this dungeon in particular, because I really like this dungeon. So, get that guy, do a little raid, heal. See, the thing is about this uh, boss, I don't know if, like, people who are, like, who play this game uh, can tell me, but, like, I feel like when you go up into him, I, at least from what I first thought, it hurts you, but I guess when you go up into him, and him maybe it brings him down to us to attack again? I'm starting to think that since it looked like everyone was going into him. I actually didn't know that. I was, I, I mostly assumed that the mechanic was if you like if the wind pushed you into him you were going to take massive damage but maybe I'm wrong so that's my bad But for the most part, that is like the main uh, mechanic of this boss is just flying up and doing stuff. Now I need to get this guy real quick. There you go. Um, as a healer, I like to DPS a lot, so sometimes my party members get a little low on their HP every now and then. So that can be a little worrisome. But, you know, damage, bro. Let me offer a little heal heal. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, so I think it does bring him down. Okay. 
Well, now at least I understand that mechanic. So. But yeah, I may not play the most op optimal uh, during this run. Oh, we won already. Cool. But, I hope you do enjoy. I think I have that already, actually. Yep. So we're delving deeper into this base where these guys are summoning primals. What's up with that, bro? I actually really love the visuals of this dungeon, honestly. It's pretty, pretty spanky. That's what some of my friends would call it, right? That's not a balance. Honestly, Astro is basically turned into... Do you like the balance? Well, get only the balance and only use the balance all times. And honestly, like, that's like really good. Man, that tank almost died. Did you see that? That was pretty insane. I could also use this as kind of a way to update you guys on everything that's going on but actually there hasn't really been a whole lot going on um expecting a baby soon not mine of course but my sister's baby whose uh, due date is tomorrow so that baby might be late or might be on time <laughs> we'll see um as well as for videos just doing the same old thing i'm kind of waiting on the whole baby situation before I start doing um Danganronpa 2 sorry not 3 because I'm still unsure on how that's gonna go how recording's gonna go soon so still deciding on that otherwise everything's going as normal though been recording a lot of Persona 3 so we're doing some we're making some good headway on that honestly doing a really nice job with that Can I get a balance? No, that's that's a spire. I don't really don't really want a spire. I probably should use the bowl or everything now and then. But I might want that. Actually I don't think I need that. Oh well. I'm sure the dragoon will take it. You may hear some clicking in the background as well, by the way. That's my main use of attacking. <laughs> hey, the balance! Coo! I'm gonna keep that. Get that key, guys. Thanks. Hey, get this. Yum, 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 yum. I need that. Of course, I rolled a three on the thing I needed. Thanks! I love this game. That reminds me of um, all the Alexander runs I've been doing. <laughs> um, in the new Alexander, the final turn of it, you can actually get a minion. I actually got that minion. But I'm stuck on trying to get like the, the item from that one. Like I got an item from every floor except the final one. And the final one I feel like a lot of people have the most trouble on next to the one before that. Look at these pigs. You can get those as a minion, but just showing those pigs off, man, they're cute as fuck. Okay, I kind of want to save this balance for the boss, which I believe is right up there. So I'm going to try and save this balance because I don't really want to risk trying to draw a new one. That's how I tend to play um, Astro is if I feel like it's getting too close to the boss I won't use my cards even though I probably should but I feel like I would want to use that on the boss more than anyone else you know so that's my game plan when it comes to low astro gameplay But I did decide, like, oh God, look at this fucking dungeon. It's so cool. I don't know. I, th I think this dungeon is super cool. 
like a waterfall in the background. And then we got this boss. And we toss a stone skin on this guy. So this boss you'll see his mechanics soon, but if the boss if the tank is really good, I'll be DPSing for a little bit here. Oh shit, I'm not paying attention. Um you want to get behind these things. I'm being dumb. It looks like everyone else is being dumb as well. Um that's what I get for doing a dungeon co-commentating. Or commentating, not yeah, my I'm a my co-commentator here is here, uh Radil. So, thanks for coming on the show, Redil. But a, a good game plan for this is just stay around here. If you get the marker, you're going to get those wind tunnels. But the thing is... That's the uh, tank. Yep. Gotta be prepared for the swift feather attack. Because that's the tank buster. For these, you just want to make sure they're in the middle of the... Things. Because he's going to go right here, and now he's going to do... This, which this guy is going to get us killed. Ow. That's okay, I can always remedy this situation. Because I'm the healer and I'm the one that does it. Preferably, you would want to put these not where this guy is putting them. Because that's where you're going to avoid attacks. So, oh, I should... Oh, I think I was too late. Get that on him. Preferably, you want to put them in the middle right here. Because when he does on high, you'll be pushed back. And this guy got super fucked. There you go. I got your bag, no worries. We have a pretty good DPS, so it's not a big deal if, you know, people are fucking around. But I was a little fucking around in that one, but it's fine. It all worked out. A dirty win is still a win in my book. What was I talking about before? I, I felt like I was talking about something important. Um, I don't remember. But uh, with this patch, though, I'm going to start uh, leveling up or getting gear for, like, all the main gear from, like, the tombstones you get in this game. I'm going to start pushing for Astro, which I've never really done before. I usually only made it my secondary. But I'm really starting to say, like, okay, I'm going I'm to go all the way on this. So that's what I'm going to be doing this patch i'm just gonna be putting like all my tombstone stuff into astro and then in, in my alexander gear i'm gonna be putting on my ninja because alexander alexander gear is pretty much your secondary which is what i did last time for astro especially with the um the buffs that the astro got like they're too good to like not use you know it's just super cool, in my opinion. Get this shit. I was too far away. Got that shit, though. Let's do this. Open that relic. Bam. Watch this. This is the cool shit. Yeah! It's super cool. <laughs> you ride things. Again, the... Atmosphere of this dungeon is, like, phenomenal, in my opinion. Super good. One of the best dungeons... In Heaven's Ward, honestly. I don't know if I would say it's above um, Sorkai, but it's pretty up there, in my opinion. Well, let me help you out, buddy. Got a little bounce just for you. So, for this part of the dungeon, there's going to be war balloons, as you can see. Um, they're going to keep spawning enemies unless you destroy them, so we should probably go over here and go destroy this war balloon. Or they could just ignore it, which is what they're doing. So, that's great. But preferably, you would want to go over here when you're done with that war balloon. 
and take care of this one. So, hopefully we'll be able to get on that when it comes back and summons more enemies. But it's, it's cool, you know, everyone's still learning the dungeons, so it's no big deal. I probably shouldn't have done that. I really need to heal this tank. There you go. Hopefully they'll kill that war balloon without me. I usually try to help with DPS as much as possible. There we go. A big fan of using gravity as much as possible. <laughs> there we go. Give me a good card. Like the balance. And nothing else. Yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> We're getting close to the end of this dungeon, though. It's pretty, it's like, if you have a good group, even like at the very beginning, it's not insanely difficult. So, usually that's the same for most dungeons in this game, though. Because dungeons, in the end, are going to become like your main source of gaining tombstones and getting new armor. It's mostly for the casual, and also to get casuals the gear they want to do the hardcore, like Extreme Primals and, um, you know, Alexander Savage, which, by the way, has already been cleared. Insane. In the first two days of the patch, already Alexander, um, like, all of Alexander Savage has been beaten. Insane. That is insane, in my opinion. Oh, the pain. Oh, he tornadoed me. What am I going to do? Besides heal myself. I did not get a balance, unfortunately. Give this guy this. I guess I'll use this bowl. There you go. Along with the stun effect that that uh, Celestial Opposition gives, it uh, increases the times of your buffs by like 10 seconds, I believe. I think they actually upped it in the um, in this patch to... Um... Let me use this. To uh, from 5 to 10 seconds. There is going to be some maintenance tonight, as you can see in the chat. No, that's not what I want. Malefic 2! Get some dams in, get some dips in, some deeps. Alright. So now he's going to be summoning Garuda herself. Um, which is a little scary. Ooh! Um, honestly, they kind of hype this up in the trailers, but it's not as cool as you probably want it to be but it's still pretty cool it's cool to see garuda being used more than not at all after her extreme battle so get ready for this Can I get a balance? Can I get a balance? No. <laughs> All right, we're good. More deeps, more deeps. Um, so he's gonna summon Garuda, I believe, two times in this battle, maybe three if you're slow on DPS. Um, but she's gonna do like a couple different things like this. Not a hard mechanic, but, you know. I don't know, I still, like, they're not hard mechanics for these new dungeons. I would even say uh, Google Library's final boss. Probably the most interesting mechanics. But, 
I know, I still find them fun, you know? So, as long as I'm having fun in the fight, then I'm totally fine with it. It could be easy, but I want to have fun. And I feel like if you play healer, like, everything is more interesting, because, like, even when people mess up and everything, like, that just adds on to the difficulty that, you know, it's kind of like making your own sort of difficulty, you know? So, it's fun. And I think that wraps up this dungeon, so that was pretty good. So, hooray! Ooh, I really want that. Ooh, I'm gonna say th thanks for the run. There we go. I'm not getting that coat. I really want it, but I'm not getting it. <laughs> Can never just roll good. Like, I'm, I'm so bad at rolling recently. Yeah, I didn't get that coat. <laughs> but, thank you for watching if you did. I know, uh, a little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed. I, I like mixing it up a little bit, and of course with the new patch coming out, um, I really wanted to do a... I might do the, uh, Great Google Library next. Who knows? I'm not gonna make any promises. But, A is my character. Um, yeah, I did want to do a video on this, on these dungeon since it's all new and stuff so i hope you enjoyed hope you had fun and if you've never played this game before i do implore you to at least give it a shot there's a free 30-day trial i'd say give it a shot have some fun um the thing is some of the classes you can't play right away but i do recommend like you could play any class on one character like there's so many benefits to at least trying it out because you you don't have to stick to like one thing and you can try whatever you want, but you will have to pay it like after 30 days, so that's a thing. But I hope you enjoyed. Hope this uh, interests you in some way, and thank you for watching. So I'll see you guys in the regular videos, and maybe possibly Great Google Library next. If you want to see that, let me know, and I will possibly do that. So thank you, and I'll see you guys then.